Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you guys can see by the title, I am in a new apartment. I hope the sound isn't bad because I don't have a mic, but I am recording with my phone, so I feel like it should be good. So, I'm way too geeked for this. I'm gonna scream because, like, I don't know how much sound travels in this building, and like, it feels like older people live in this building and i don't want to be like that annoying person that starts making noise like there's never any noise every time i come here it's like dead silence and i'm like do people live here <laughs> like do people actually live here so yeah i'm in my new apartment i'm about to give you guys an apartment tour but i just wanted to just give you guys some like background story and some details about the place how i found the place i've been getting so many dms about how i found the place and stuff like that so i have been looking for a place since last year november october -ish. i really started being serious around like november december and i was using property 24 and private property and rent uncle i think that's what it's called and just like googling like apartments to rent in Cape Town and like certain areas and stuff like that and honestly it was so hard to find this place it was such a struggle to find any place and like places were just going really really fast like I know the market in Cape Town does move fast but like this year it was just moving like so fast like I'd literally go view a place and then go home and someone else took it and it's just like what do you mean like but with this place i don't know i was kind of lucky i think because it's a little bit pricey and it's empty no one not a lot of people actually want like empty places so i found this place on property 24 i wasn't really sure if i wanted it and like i had to obviously consult with my dad because he's paying all the fees and everything and he did not really want me to get an unfurnished place because the admin of like buying furniture and like especially for uni students and like it's my last year like what are the chances of me staying in Cape Town next year and stuff like that so like that furniture might have been a waste but like I, you know what I just had to because I couldn't find any other place and I really liked this place so I just had to find this I had to like get this place and then I was like okay fine if you really like it you can take it and then the whole application process took like a whole month you guys i kid you not the whole affair i was in durban watch my <laughs> durban vlog i was in durban the whole affair because i was trying to like do help application process and like it just took really long and like my landlord was being a bit sus which honestly is a story for another day now about the building the building is i don't know i don't know how safe this area is but I do know it's definitely safer than the place, the area I was in before because I was in a student area and you guys know like student areas do tend to be like not safe at all because people know that there's a lot of students, they get drunk, they're always out and about so they're just not safe. This area is not a student area, it's very like worky people area, there's like, it's like a worky type of area, I don't know how else to explain it so yeah so the area is quite safe the building itself is so secure like i i just love how secure it is especially since the sun just went down a bit um especially since i'm going to be living alone i did want a really safe place because i'm like a woman and i'm just so scared to <laughs> live alone because i was staying with a roommate last year so yeah, the building, when you enter, you need like a disc thingy to enter. And then there's always security at the gate, like at the reception. And then to get in the like elevator, you need the disc thing. And then when you do get in the elevator, you need a disc to press the level you're going in. And then when you get out that level, you need a disc to get into like these gatey thingies that enter you into the apartment area. So there's like a lot of steps that go into you even getting into the apartment area which is amazing because it means it's safer and there's like cameras literally everywhere like in my hallway down here there's probably like 
four cameras um, in the lift there's cameras in like the area outside the lift there's cameras so I feel so so safe which is amazing and obviously my dad really loved that as well because I'm going to be staying alone it's Cape Town South Africa you just you just have to be safe especially if you're going to be staying alone so yeah those are the details about the apartment there aren't any amenities in the well there aren't really any but there's no like rooftop like there's no pool or anything which is a bummer but i if i'm being quite realistic i don't think i would need one that much like the cape town does get hot but i'm more like a go out and get coffee or go to the beach type of girl not really like oh gosh i need the pool like like sometimes i did miss it because my old place also didn't have a pool but it literally wasn't a train smash like it didn't change my life there's no gym which i think is a is a little bit of a train smash but for how much i love this place i think it's fine but there is a gym like around the area which i would obviously have to pay for there's no gym like in the building i don't work out that much but i would just love the idea of knowing that there's a gym that i'm not using that's free do you get what i mean like so yeah there's that um and yeah that's about it we can get into the part one tour i'm literally so excited okay so right now i am right by the door and as soon as you walk in this is what you see so yeah um, as soon as you walk in you see you see the living room space i have my suitcase here because i literally just got here and then um yeah this is the living room space honestly i think it's kind of it's okay for like the a first apartment but it is kind of small so yeah this is how the space looks um i'm gonna try to like pan it yeah it's not that bad so i was thinking of putting obviously a tv stand there and putting my tv there i don't know yet if i want to mount my tv up or put it on the tv stand i'm not sure and then i'm gonna have a couch somewhere here not against the wall because i feel like that's kind of really really far from the tv so i'm not sure i'll see when it gets here and then a carpet in the middle and i want like a round coffee table and then here on the side i was thinking of having a mirror because i'm going to start doing like tiktoks and reels and i feel like the lighting will be amazing and then there'll be like a bit of the tv stand showing and then a mirror and like a little plant just for like my fashion videos and then that's all i have planned for the space honestly on these windowsills i feel like i should put something but i'm just not sure yet i love this sitting here i'm gonna show you guys is honestly amazing i mean i literally have nothing to say the other day i was here with tessa and we were literally just chilling on these windowsills having lunch and we were just so happy and so content with life and we can like kind of see people the windows are kind of dirty but they did say that they will get them clean. Um, they're not sure when, but they've been like, you know, and stuff. You can kind of see people, and I can imagine, like, when the windows are clean, I will be able to people watch in peace. And then you move over this way to the kitchen, which I honestly have no words for. The kitchen is insane it is so big i love everything about it so first of all this like marbly situation that's happening chef's kiss and then here you have like a wine place thing you can like put your wines there i was planning on putting like some wines here and then putting other alcohols here just for when i'm like hosting people or have like people over and then obviously here 
would be where the fridge goes and then this is the stove um very like modern which is really really nice and you just press the thing and it comes out and you you know do what you need to do so that's really really cute the oven is a good space um i like that and then these these are quite small in my opinion but they will do i guess <laughs> and then there's like this space and this space and this space um and this space as well i was thinking of putting my pots there and then cleaning stuff here obviously because it's under the sink and then here's like a little pantry um so like pasta spices snacks you know the shebang and there's this space which i honestly love and hate i just went a little back just so you guys can see the area more so what i don't like just just a little bit there's no like cupboards that are like on top do you guys get what i mean so i was thinking of putting glasses there but one of my friends suggested that i put my plates there and i don't know i don't know what i want to do because i still wanted to look aesthetic and i thought that glasses would look really aesthetic but my friend was like plates would also look aesthetic so let me know in the comments below what you guys think i should put glasses or plates and yeah so that's the kitchen um i love this little light with this black and like all around the apartments there's this black accents which are super super nice so yeah and then when you walk this way that's the bedroom but i'm just not gonna do that like now i'm gonna start with the bathroom um you walk here and then there's this space i think this is just to put like your bedding the shelves are a bit like small but there are a lot of them so i think you can definitely still put bedding and then this is the bathroom that's me hello <laughs> so yeah this is the bathroom on this side you have the toilet <laughs> and then you have the shower which honestly considering how big it is i feel like you could have they could have made it like a bit bigger but nonetheless it's it looks big enough and then you have the basin sink area which again this marble like finish absolutely love it and there's like lights by the mirror which makes it like brighter cuter more aesthetic um so yeah there's that space which is so big my other apartment had like a smaller space and i folded up so quickly so i love love the space like how big it is and then obviously i put my towels here and yeah i think that's about it for the bathroom right opposite the bathroom is my bedroom which honestly when i first um saw the place i was like oh i really wanted like a bathroom in my bedroom but now that i think about it it's amazing because when i have people over then they don't have to go into my bedroom to use the bathroom so now i love the whole like concept and idea so yeah this is the room when you pan it over like this it just looks like this and then there's the wardrobe space that side the mirror let's let's get into the mirror okay let's get into the mirror i think this is honestly the best thing ever it's this mirror 
and it doesn't distort you or anything it literally is like such a good mirror and then i also love the cupboard space it's like that and then they have these built-in thingies which honestly is the most useful thing ever because you can have like underwear socks pajamas bikinis and just like random stuff um and then this side as well has that so yeah that's the room um i love the windows once again it makes the place so bright i just i'm obsessed so yeah so that was the apartment tour i hope you guys enjoyed this video i did a lot of talking in this video so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel because i will be bringing you guys along my whole furnishing journey and all of that i'll probably have like four or five moving vlogs i've planned like four or five i'll see how like everything goes like stuff like that so please please subscribe like this video share and yeah thank you so much for watching